testing, testing, testing. All right, so I had a, another rapture dream last night. Very powerful one, very descriptive one. A lot of imagery, a lot of symbolism, and a lot of clues, as you can say. I guess you can say clues. A lot of clues I was given to me. So um, we're going to get right into the rapture dream, keep the video short, and then I'm going to go back to minding my business. Cool, so... Rapture Dream starts off at Los Angeles, California. I used to live there in real life for about five, six years. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what happened was I was at the train station at Hollywood. I think it was Hollywood Boulevard. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Hollywood Boulevard train station. I was coming up the train. I was coming up the escalators to go to the uh, to the platform deck where you can leave out. As I'm coming up the escalators, I see two ladies preaching the gospel, but not really saying nothing. They just had like cardboard, uh, like, you know, like cardboard boxes, uh, you know, big sheets of paper, pamphlets, whatever you want to call them. And it was just saying, you know, Jesus, Jesus is returning soon. You know, Christ loves you. The ABCs of salvation, what he did for us, which is so beautiful. And um, what happened was. I looked at them and I was like, hey, how y'all doing? I was like, I'm a believer as well. And they was like, yeah, that's cool. We just chopping it up a little bit. I turned to my right and I see two blood moons. No, not two blood moons. I see two moons. One moon right here, one moon right here. Now, what's crazy about these moons is on the second moon, the one that was right here, it was connected to an outlining of a fish. So it was like, it was like stars, but it was so many and it was outlining a fish connected to the second moon so like the mouth of the fish was connected to the second moon and so i said oh do y'all know what that means and it was like no nah. and i was just like okay i was like well it's very important and it's about to be one of the best days of y'all life and i started explaining about the rapture and the two moons and how i've been looking it up and then the fish the 153 uh fish how when jesus was uh when when the disciples was catching fish jesus was like uh put your net back down you will catch more than fish and how some people think that the fish is um symbolic to the christian you know as far as like some of the uh channels that actually go deep into the rapture as far as like the blood moon tetras the the constellation stellarium and things like that so i was explaining the fish and so i asked them their names and i don't remember the other girl name but the one person that i do remember the second girl she said my name is olympia i was like olympia that's a, that's a unique name and she was blind that was crazy too. She was blind in the dream. She had to stick. And so I started talking about the rapture again. And all these people just bum rushed us like to listen. Nobody like heckled us or anything, but it was just all like too close in our personal space. And they was moved like it was so many people that we was moving away from our post. And I just remember the blind girl, she grabbed my hand and she put her head into my chest and kind of was holding me tight. She was scared, you know, like you can't really see, you can't see all this all this, like, these motions around you is can kind of, like, frighten you. So I'm holding, I'm like, yo, we good, we good, don't worry, we good, like, ain't nobody gonna do nothing, ain't nobody gonna, ain't nobody gonna touch you, like, we good. So, I'm just explaining the rapture and everybody looking, and then we walk back to the thing, and then an earthquake starts, so now it's an earthquake or whatever, Ooh, earthquake happened, and so I grab their shoulders, I grab their shoulders like this, and um, I was just like, y'all ready? This it, this is it. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? And I was like, Olympia. And she's like, yeah. I was like, you ain't finna be blind no more. And then I woke up.